Right, I've been doing a bit more of the adventurization of Falkor. And what I've done is I've fitted an ABS kill switch. There it is right there. Now it basically replaces the bracket that was holding the whole clutch housing on with this bracket which has the kill switch on it. The wiring just goes down, you marry it along to the OEM wiring, comes down here, goes along the frame onto the tank, through there to the fuse box where it interrupts the main output to the ABS pump. So all it does is kill the ABS. So at the moment the ABS is working. As you can see by the fact there is no little orange light on the, the dash. When the orange light comes on the dash it's not working. In fact let's show you that. Going from the start, when you start to back up, the ABS light comes on. And it stays on until you get to go the bike moving and it all resets itself. So here we go. There it goes. The ABS is now working. So a bit of normal road riding. We want the ABS. We've got it. We're going to turn down this little road, which I know turns to dirt just after the bend. So let's kill the ABS. Here we go. ABS has got is off. And <laughs> oh, I thought they'd tarred this bit. Now here it is. Now we're on the dirt. Okay. So we're riding on the dirt without ABS. Give it a bit of back brake. She'll go for you. I'm not going to use the front brake. I don't use the front brake much in many situations, but especially not in the dirt. So now I've got a bike with the ABS turned off completely, which is what I want. Now after that huge long trek through the dirt, we're back on the bitumen. In order to get the ABS back on, you have to kill the engine, hit the switch, engine back on, once the bike gets moving, it should reset the ABS to on. And there it is. That easy. So, yep. Big success. That works. I did it, and nobody died. So back home now to fit my adventure pegs on, and then we'll give them a test. I've put the new off-road pegs on, and I've actually put the rubber tops on them, which are removable. I tried them without, rode up and down the driveway, it feels absolutely brilliant. So I've got to give these a go, see if they're possibly better on the highway for long rides. I don't think so, the other ones felt pretty good. But anyway, give them a quick try and then we'll take them off, do some dirt. Take the ABS off. Be adventurous. <laughs> Gonna run along the highway there. With these uh, rubber foot peg covers on. Yeah, it felt all right. Didn't feel too different to what I'm used to, except for the lack of sponginess, which was excellent. Those bloody spongy pegs from the Honda are awful. I just pop up here a little bit. Find a bit of dirt road, I know. Take these off, turn the ABS off, and give it all a bit of a try out. So it's pretty simple. There's just a couple of bolts underneath that hold the rubber bit on. There you go, a little bolt in the washer. Goes through there into the pad. So we've go. got the bare pegs again. Let's go give it all a test. Now these pegs are lower than the OEM one, so standing up immediately feels better. 
better reach to the bars. Could reach the brakes, okay. Can reach the gears, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the ABS off. Here we go. ABS killed. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, this feels so much better. My feet feel sure-footed on the pegs. Yeah, this is awesome. Awesome improvement. Let's try a little bit of downhill slow control. Yep, holding it steady with the brake without that bullshit from the ABS. Awesome! <laughs> and you can do childish things like that as well. Guess I'll find the most dirt I can find on the short ride home. Well, actually, I've got to go to the shops. It's all good, it's all on the bike. This is feeling so good. What a difference. Got the brake just right at my toes. Previously standing on the big spongy pegs. Literally could, couldn't use the rear brake or the gears. Oh, such better control with the brakes. See, I do know how to use brakes. First bike was a VTR. Really strong front brake. No ABS. Taught myself to squeeze it, not to grab it. So if I have to use both brakes with ABS, I can. There you go. There's, oh, a bit of a slowdown for that. Both brakes, just nice and gentle squeeze. All good. Bugger it, let's go this way. Yeah, you don't. Okay, maybe yes. Off. Doesn't say no through road. Ooh. Hey, bus mate. Um, I don't know. Let's go this way. That looks like a driveway. That one. No gate, no sides. Not a very much used road, this one. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to go through that. That's a bog, basically. Not a road. Right. Maybe one day. I'll have to look into this road and see if it's private or not. Could be a good little challenge. Don't say no through road in this one either. Let's go exploring. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where I am now. <coughs> this was the road I was trying to get to, but didn't think I was going that direction, but well, there you go, typically lost. 
Anyway, let's go. Awesome. Okay, so that's been a lot of fun. Really like the pegs, really like having the ability to switch off the ABS. Hope that's been helpful to some people thinking about those particular mods. And for all of you faithful watchers, look, thanks as always for watching. If you ride, ride safe. And if you liked it, I hope to see you in the next one.